Dominic Carter wins the lag. Carter versus O'Brien. 20 second shot clock in operation. Let the shootout begin. Thank you, Fergal O'Brien to break. Fergal then breaking off. And I agree with you, Phil. I think uh, we've all been in this game a long time and we thought we'd seen it all, but clearly we haven't. After tonight, it's, uh, I don't know quite where to start really. There's more to come as well. It's extraordinary sets of circumstances tonight we've seen, haven't we? And I never thought we would. The, the McLeod Drago match was extraordinary, but Robertson getting all of those points in such a short space of time, well, still can't quite get over that. Alan McManus looks shell shocked at the end, no wonder. Of course, this could easily have been Jimmy White versus. Stephen Hendry, but Fergal O'Brien beat Hendry in the first round. Ali Carter beat Jimmy White. Well, I think it's no secret that Fergal is one of the more methodical players on the tour, but he's an intelligent player, and that might stand him in good stead. Knows his way around the table, and if any edge to be had, he might be able to find it. Bottom line is he's very good as well. And he was impressive in his opening match. Utterly Nine. dominant against Hendry. And in first here, the red at the bottom of the pack will pot to the right corner. Has he got the angle to stun him behind it? Not quite. Went through a period, didn't he, some years ago, where he did that little shot, soft shoe shuffle. Couldn't get his stance right, could he couldn't feel comfortable on the shot for quite some time. But I've noticed here, just getting down and playing the shot, totally relaxed. Yeah, and he's used the half butt there, and if nothing else, this tournament has reinvented the half butt. Steve Davis used it. There's no time to get the extensions on the queue. So that's come into fashion now. Seen it used for years. Thank you. And he's called a foul on himself for a push 17. shot. Very good sportsmanship indeed. That was a push, apparently. So he deserves One. all credit for that. When he played the shot, Neil, I didn't see a push, didn't feel as though it was, but I heard Eight. a funny noise. I well, we may, may get a chance to have a look at it because it might be the moment in the frame that is crucial. Now, it, it isn't crucial, but it's an interesting one all the same. Didn't prove to be crucial in the frame, but Fergal did call a foul on himself. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, it was uh, well, not so much a push shot, but a double hit. He followed through and hit it again, but uh, he knew he'd done it, so he called it on himself. Good man. But if nothing else, it threw Fergal out of his rhythm and on the back foot now. Because he was in first. And that was a bit weighty, that safety shot. Lucky to get the jaws of the pocket, perhaps, to get the cue ball on the side cushion. Which makes this a difficult shot. Playing safe. Well, usually a player would just roll behind a bolt colour. Can't do that, it'll be a foul, the ball has to touch a cushion. So he's going for the brown in the middle, forced into it really. And that's a great shot, that is a great shot under pressure. Look what he was leaving. Great shot and it could be very significant. He's been playing non-stop this week, Ali Carter, involved in Group 3 and 4 of Championship League snooker down at Crondon 13. Park. So, played a match Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and now here on Saturday as well. 
How the game is changing with tournaments like that around, and of course this. Well, basically, players this season have gone from being part-timers to being extraordinarily busy. Almost overworked, but they're thriving on it. 17. Now, this is the, the next big test. 15-second shot clock in operation. Not only the 15 seconds, but this shot. This is missable. He's fortunate there, Carter could well have left a red on. That's a strange old shot there, you know. I think he played the plant, but he never really lined it up. And maybe that'll be it now for Fergal. May have been a rash shot to take on there. There was a safety available. One. Yes, something I never thought I'd say about O'Brien. I think a touch of panic set in. But we've seen enough twists, haven't we, tonight to know that nothing is absolutely secure yet. There might Eight. come a time when it is, but still got some work to do here, Ali Carter. Yes, these 16. players tonight have produced more twists than Chubby Checker. It's gone a bit too far here. I wonder if that red will go in the middle of the little cluster. I think it will. Yeah, that goes. Well, it did go, but he missed it and he hit it all wrong. Well, we've seen some twists. This is another chance and there's enough time for sure. Come on, Fergal. Let's twist again. And I think the key here is not to rush around too much just yet. This is a wonderful chance, it really is. Nine. Well, and Cubal anywhere up beyond the pink spot here. He's got a choice of a number of reds. Played to get on the one to the right corner, though. Don't know if you want to get on the pink here because it looks like it will re-spot in behind its own spot. It might tie up the red. Well, he's played on the black for that very reason, I would say. And he's only 14 behind. Plenty of time left here. Plenty of time. And it shows how quickly a player can accumulate points. Because he's right back in it now and there's still two minutes of play left. It's almost in Ali Carter's favour now that there's time left because he might need it. Well, he was flummoxed on that attempted plant a while ago, O'Brien, but now Thanks the composure seems to have returned. Yeah, tonight hasn't lacked anything, but I guess the one thing we're waiting for is the points to finish level and a, a blue ball shootout that would just uh, round off the evening I guess it's been extraordinary and uh, even this match in itself is a big turnaround he's missed it he's missed it oh my word well that was his golden chance Extraordinary. That's what pressure does. Well, Fergal's had a look to see if the red pots. It's very tight. That is very tight. He may opt against it. Yep, he's played the safety shot. We still could see the points level here. If Ali can pop the last red, it's not out of the question. Needs to keep his cool. Well, it's in Fergal's own hands now. Looks like he'll go through. Now he can slow the game down a touch. Can pot a red and a blue over the next few seconds. Run the clock down. Fergal's 
certainly ahead of the game here. He knows exactly what's required, Phil. Yes, and if he pots this, even if he misses the yellow, Carter will need three pots, and that's not going to happen. smiling in Blackpool, third ball through, Carter blew his chance.